Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Thursday. We are almost at the weekend. Oh yes. I'm hope I'm so super excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and you're ready to rock out the weekend because it's almost here. Um Quick update before we get started. Uh, Wild Orange this month until the 15th is the product of the month from doTERRA. Um, if you're interested in free stuff, definitely reach out to me. I love that one. It's great for, actually, <clears throat> Wild Orange can be used almost as a, an, or it can be used as a surface cleaner um, to help uh, cleanse the areas, right? As well as giving you aromatic benefits, helping to uplift your mood. Um, so definitely free stuff is awesome. June 10th is an online presentation about essential oils, um, how to reduce the toxic load in your life. It's $10 to get on the call. If you or somebody you know of is interested in learning more, definitely reach out to me. Um, we'll get you wrong. We'll get you started on that. I'm super excited for it. There's actually um, free samples. If you register, you get some free oils uh, to help enjoy your experience. So that's awesome. Uh, convention tickets are on sale now. That's going to be in September. Um, there's tickets for if you want to go to the event live. That is, um, it's going to be in Utah um, at the stadium where the Utah Jazz play. Or there's a live stream event available. That's the one that I'm super excited about. You get the swag box and everything. Tons of cool stuff comes in that. Uh, tickets are on sale now. They go, uh, they uh, increase in price in a couple of months. So definitely want to get them while they're at their discounted price. Lastly, I have launched a weight loss course for beginners. It is an online digital course for download. If you or somebody you know of is interested in getting access to it, definitely reach out to me. There's tons of cool stuff that comes along with the initial launch and I'm super excited to get it out into the universe for everybody to absorb. Whew. All right. That's it. I promise. That's not it. It's definitely not it. There's tons of cool stuff going on right now, especially with the summer months coming on. Um, but that could be, I could go on and on about all that stuff. So today, what I wanted to talk about was, what is today? It is Insect Repellent Awareness Day. And basically, it's a um, raising awareness about why you should sort of use um, repellent um, you should keep away from getting bitten by as many insects as you can. Uh, insects, they move around the world, right? They tend to bring diseases with them and um, different types of illnesses, some that we know of, some that we don't know of. And that's why we use it, right? <laughs> Aside from just being a real pain in the you know what uh, when you're trying to sit around and, uh, and have a good time and enjoy yourself and everything. So that's where I wanted to come on. Actually, I have a DIY that I'm going to do, um, excuse me, a little bit later, that uh, uh, one of the sprays that I use, that I love, that I, that you know, for me, actually, I get, I, I really get eaten a lot, and, um, you know, the, the bugs, they are very much attracted to me, I know, what can I say, I'm a very attractive individual, it happens, I get it more often than not, um, but seriously, it, it it is very much an annoyance, and um, you know it's it's super uh, just uh, right when you're just when you're when you're itching all the all the time, and then the bugs keep biting you in dumb places where you didn't even know you had places, and now you've got this big mosquito bite there. Um, so for me, it is you know it is very much an annoyance. Um, uh, and that's that's putting it lightly. A uh, couple words that I would love to use, but not on camera. Uh, so that's where um, you know that's where I wanted to come on and give some you know, some or do the DIY to show um, you know a, a sort of less toxic version. Mine is actually a less toxic version uh, than regular um, insect repellents, right? So let's get right into it. Um, what I do actually more than anything, there's a couple things that I do actually 
outside of the repellent to help the bugs stay away from me. Number one is I, I actually wear long sleeve clothing. Uh, if I can, right, I put pants on. It's a lot easier at nighttime when it's a little bit cooler. Um, I'll put the pants on. I'll put uh, some long sleeves on, right, if I can, if it's not too hot out. Uh, I find that that really, it, it, as much as it doesn't really deter the insects from landing on me, uh, it, it gives them a lot more to get through, right, in terms of... Um, uh, wanting to uh, eat me alive, right? So that's where I find the long sleeve clothing, uh, the um, the pants really help uh, a lot in in, in uh, certain instances. Uh, another thing I like to do is sit by the fire. Uh, I find right by the fire is a very less. Um, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is, but I find near the fire is uh, is a lot easier to keep the bugs away from you. Uh, be, I, I don't know, I guess it's something to do with the light. They probably are attracted to that, but the heat, right? Um, I'm not talking sitting in the fire, right? But I'm talking about uh, close enough to where the, uh, you know, it, it can be very much a burn sensation if the bugs come near you. So those two things really help me. Um, one of the tips actually that I heard more than anything was uh, you can change your, your bulbs on your patio set to uh, the LED bulbs and that will actually, that produces some sort of chemical uh, in the air that repels the insects away from it. So those are a few different things that I like to do um, and they actually very much help me. Um, and then I just add the, the repellent on me as a, you know, a, a, a nice, sort of body protection, body armor type thing. So, all right, so that's, that's what helps me. Let's get into the DIY here, let's do this. So basically what we're gonna do is we are doing a DIY Terra Shield. Terra Shield is the uh, blend from doTERRA that discourages insects from landing on you. Um, I love this one. Like I mentioned, I get eaten alive and it's not very fun for me to say the least and um, you know, when I'm sitting there itching and just getting eaten, I don't want to be outside anymore. It's not very fun for me at all. And I get very much annoyed and uh, I don't really want to do too much else other than just be inside away from life, right? So that's where this came in. And once I found the Terra Shield, right, that this was, uh, it was a lifesaver for me. Um, I do not get bitten anymore. I love the way that that one um, it, it's, it's a less toxic version. I actually, I actually have a little blurb here about it. Uh, a toxic free alternative to guard against bugs and pests. Fractionated coconut oil helps the blend stay on the skin longer, prolonging its effect. So what that does is it's got fractionated coconut oil in it. Um, a little bit of a science lesson here. The, um, uh, essential oils at the very base of it are volatile aromatic compounds. All that means is that they switch from a liquid to a gas very quickly. So before you really get the effects of it, it, it a lot of times it will absorb into the, the atmosphere. So that's where we use the fractionated coconut oil. That will help to slow the absorption of the oil and just allow for deep, deeper penetration and like that said, prolonged effect, right? So that's where I love doing that one. Um, okay, so the Terra Shield is actually really cool. I love this one because it comes in a, in a spray bottle. It also comes in an oil. So that's where I love it because, ba -ba -da -ba, I don't know if you guys guessed, you probably guessed it, you guys are so smart. Um, so what we are gonna do is we are going to refill this bottle with the oil blend. And I actually love the way that doTERRA, uh, you know, not, not just this bottle in general, but not in particular, sorry, but in, in products in general, um, it's really easy to refill them, right? That's how we get the most bang for our buck. Uh, we, we do things that, you know, we, we reuse the containers, we refill the bottles, um, you know, roller bottles are a perfect example for that. Uh, I love refilling my roller bottles. It's super convenient way to A, have more of the product and B, to have a refill uh, while you're waiting for yours to come in the mail. So what we are going to do also is I am going to add citronella into the bottle here. So we are going to put citronella and Terra Shield 
inside the bottle. We are going to top it off with fractionated coconut oil and we are going to have a spray that will very much discourage those insects from landing on you. So what I have actually is I've brought up the pages here on the internet on my tablet here. Uh, just a little bit about why we should care about these oils. Uh, why we should be interested and what they actually will do for us. So the first one I have here is citronella. Citronella's primary benefits are to cleanse indoor and outdoor surfaces. Actually, let me, let me restart that. So citronella oil is distilled from the tall leafy citronella grasses in Asia. <whistles> citronella essential oil has a crisp, fresh aroma and many versatile uses. Citronella essential oil is often used as a personal fragrance while camping, hiking, or being outdoors, or can be diffused indoors for a fresh, meadow-like aroma. Wow, fancy. Citronella essential oil also has skin-soothing benefits when applied topically. And this is the one that I was super excited about because uh, citronella actually has a chemical constituent in it called ger geraniol. Now geraniol is very, um, it, it's, it's really interesting because that's also found in rose oil. So most of the benefits that you can get from rose oil, which is considered one of the, the um, uh, you know, um, I, 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 I want to say most expensive, but it, it's one of the most highest quality oils in the world. And you can get that exact same benefits for a fraction of the cost in the citronella oil. That's what, that's what made me super excited about it. Also, the citronella will actually provide uh, skin benefits. Um, yeah, promote clean and healthy looking skin. So I, I, I actually was very interested in reading about that when I did, because right, you think of citronella, you just think about keeping the bugs away. You don't actually think about the uh, internal benefits. So some of the primary benefits, are cleanses indoor and outdoor surfaces. So because it comes from the citronella grasses, right? It's got that cleansing properties. Uh, provide a calming aroma during a massage. Wow, yes it can. Um, has a pleasant odor. Yes it does. And contains skin soothing properties. Indeed it does. That's amazing. I actually never thought about citronella being an oil that can help with skin uh, skincare um, uh what am I looking for? <laughs> that can help with uh, healthy looking skin. That's amazing, I love that. Um, one of the things that geraniol actually is really great for is it's got regenerative properties in it. So that, that, that's a way that your skin regenerates itself every few months, right, or few years. Um, so when, you, when you're helping with the regeneration process, that's how you help your skin come out looking better on the other side. So that's some stuff I got about citronella. Yeah, we're super excited about citronella. Yeah, we are. So now let's move on to TerraShield. TerraShield contains a select blend of essential oils, including ylang ylang, cedarwood, catnip, lemon, eucalyptus, litsi, arbor vitae, nutka, and vanilla bean. Eight oils blended into this one <laughs> blend right there. You wanna talk about value right? Value right there. Eight oils inside that one blend right there. How much would those eight oils be if you bought all eight of them? I guarantee it would be a lot less than the $18 that they're charging for this bottle. That's crazy right there. So some of the things that you can do with this one, uh, apply to the legs and wrists for a personal aroma. You can use TerraShield topically or in place of aromatherapy jewelry. And also you can apply to the arms and legs for an enjoyable outdoor and indoor scent. This one is actually, and this is what I love actually about the Terra Shield oil, is it's not really that, you know, repellent, repellent tea smell, I guess if you will. Um, there's not that, you know, you know when you buy the insect repellents and you can smell them, right? And, and it, you just know that you're wearing uh, repellent. This one is not like that. It actually smells really calming and relaxing. Oh, it definitely smells like the outdoors. That's what it is. I'm getting a hint of tree. That's probably the Nootka in there. Oh, I love that one. Actually, Nootka is similar to tea tree. So this one actually has antibacterial. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to make our DIY. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is why I love um, refilling my products. This is how I get value out of mine, uh, out, of, out, of, out of basically all of my essential oil products. So this is what I mean, right? You can unscrew the cap, right? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah. So what we are going to do, I don't actually know if there's a, 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 a way that you should put these or a, a, an order that they should go in. <laughs> so we are going to put citronella in first because I said so. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is we don't even need a lot here. I'm just gonna do 15 drops of each, right? So we're gonna do right here, boom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, boom. Just like that. What I like to do is I like to actually just scrape the side of it. You can, you can't, oh yeah, I guess you can see a little bit. Uh, a little bit sometimes gets stuck on the, on the edges and I mean, you can just leave it. You don't have to wipe it off, but I mean, you're wasting essential oil. Why are you gonna waste essential oil for? Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the Terra Shield in. We're gonna do 15 drops of this also. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Some of them come out a lot faster than others. Boom. All right. Same thing with this one. Yeah, a little bit came off. Not too much, but that's good. That means we did, we're not wasting very much product. All right, all right, all right, all right. Perfect, okay, so we've got that. Now, this is kind of, the, the only issue that I have with this is that it, um, you, it, it's hard to see when you get to the top, right? So that's why maybe a glass container might be a little bit better, but we're gonna see what we can do here. Where do I got, all right. We're gonna see what happens here. So basically, I'm just topping it off with fractionated coconut oil. That's all that's happening right here. I don't know where I am either. I shouldn't actually be too, I should actually have a lot to go. Simply because, um, right, 15, I, I only put 30 drops in there and it looks like I'm just about halfway. I only put 30 drops in there, right? So it's not like there's a whole lot uh, that are in there. Okay, perfect, right, that's awesome. Could probably do a little bit more. Yeah, that's okay. I can't actually see. <laughs> eh, it's okay. I think so. And also, too, you don't want to go right to the top either, because you want because you're you're gonna put the the top in and you're gonna screw it down. And if you're too far up, it's gonna make it very hard for. Uh, or it, what what's gonna happen is it's gonna overflow. I mean, we all know we all know that, right? So then, what we do is we just shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, so we have blended all of them together. This should work. Hey! Woo! All right, all right, all right. Now I'm ready to go in the great outdoors. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Ba ba da ba! Love it when a plan comes together. I really love it when a plan comes together. I also really love it when stuff works out. <laughs> Sometimes you put it all together and it doesn't really work out. That's awesome. So that's what I love right there. And you saw how easy that was. It was just 15 drops. You don't even have to put 15. You could do 10, you could do 20 if you want it, right? Um, that's really uh, what the great part about making your own DIY. You can do it to, um, you know, sort of fit your needs, right? To, uh, <clears throat> to make it uh, cater to your, um, you know, what, what you're going through, right? So that's where I love it. Maybe if you've got a big family, right? You do a little bit less drops because you want to conserve it more. Maybe if you don't, it's only me and Tina over here. So, right, maybe we use a little bit more uh, because we don't have to worry about conserving it for anybody, right? So that's where 
I love the DIYs. I love refilling our stuff. And I love the way that it gives us more value out of it. I think that's all I've got for this one. Um, I, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, somebody from your team, anybody that you know that goes outdoors. Uh, if you're planning on going outdoors, anybody that you feel needs to hear this, definitely share it with them. Um, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like to make your own DIYs, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, reach out to me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better rest of your week. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.